We love that song, Hello, D.C. Fellow citizens, it is wonderful to see so many of us out here today. We are here for the same reason our ancestors gathered here in 1776. We want our government to run without a king. Our government is based on ideas embodied in a constitution. Among other remarkable features, it guarantees our freedom to speak, as we're doing here today. Rather than doing one monarch's bidding, we have agreed to form a democracy, to work together, and to follow the laws that derive from it. No thrones, no crowns, no kings. Only today, the stakes are higher. Rather than abandoning a war against an elusive, perhaps sometimes imaginary foe, we are confronting the possible end of our republic. We are here to tell our lawmakers that what's going on in our government is wrong. They must stop the abuses of this petulant president and his circle of sycophants. This president and his associates cannot tolerate dissent. To them, our free speech is frightening. They are arresting people and denying due process in courts. They tried to silence television hosts. They're trying to fire our indict civil servants prosecutors, judges, even their own cabinet members. But in this land, these sorts of actions are not new. In 1776, our ancestors had had enough. They declared independence from a king by means of a document stored safely right over there on Constitution Avenue in the National Archives. Although it was conceived 249 years ago, the Declaration of Independence describes a train of abuses connected with an absolute authority, a king with absolute power. Their king had refused to honor the law. Their king had refused to let lawmakers be elected. The king had made court judges dependent on his will. They cited the king sending, quote, swarms of officers to harass our people. Their language referred to, quote, cruelty and faithlessness scarcely paralleled in the most barbarous of ages. Their king was trying to, quote, render the military independent and superior to civil power. Our founders even censured King George for cutting off trade with all parts of the world. Did these actions sound familiar?